As the Achaemenid inscriptions were deciphered, it became evident that they were inscribed in the same script as the inscriptions found on ancient artifacts and tablets in Mesopotamia, the plains and highlands between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. In 1843, Paul and Emil Bota, intrigued by the dispersed artifacts, set out to conduct the first significant deliberate excavation. He chose a location near Mosul, presently known as Khorasbad, in northern Mesopotamia. Bota was able to determine the site was named Dur Sharukin in cuneiform writings. The name meant walled city of the righteous king, according to Semitic inscriptions, which were written in the sister language to Hebrew. This ruler is referred to as Sargon II in our textbooks. This Assyrian king's capital had a magnificent royal palace with walls lined in sculptured bas reliefs that would run for nearly a mile if laid end to end. The city and the royal compound were guarded by a ziggurat, a step pyramid that served as a stairway to heaven for the gods. The city's layout and sculptures reflected a grandiose way of life. In just five years, the palaces, temples, residents, stables, warehouses, walls, gates, columns, decorations, statues, artworks, towers, ramparts, terraces, and gardens were all built. The mind reels before the potential strength of the empire that could do so much in such a short space 3,000 years ago, writes George Contenu in his book, Babylon and Assyria. Not to be outdone by the French, the English arrived in the form of Sir Austin Henry Laird, who chose a location 10 miles downstream from Khorasbad on the Tigris River. Kanujik was the local name, and it turned out to be the Assyrian capital of Nineveh. Biblical names and events were beginning to take shape. Under Assyria's last three major rulers, Sennacherib, Sheridan, and Ashurbanipal, Nineveh was the royal capital. Now, in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah, did Sennacherib, king of Assyria, come up against all the walled cities of Judah, relates the Old Testament in 2 Kings 18.13. When the angel of the Lord smote his army, Sennacherib departed and went back and dwelt in Nineveh. Sennacherib and Ashurbanipal built palaces, temples, and works of art that rivaled those of Sargon on the mounds where Nineveh was built. The site of Ashardan's palaces cannot be explored since it is currently the site of a Muslim mosque built over the purported burial place of the prophet Jonah, who was swallowed by a whale after refusing to deliver Yahweh's word to Nineveh. According to ancient Greek texts, a commander in Alexander's army witnessed the site of pyramids and remains of an old city, a metropolis that had already been buried by the time of Alexander. It was also discovered by Laird, and it turned out to be Nimrud, Assyria's military capital. Shalmanzer II erected an obelisk there to commemorate his military achievements and voyages. The obelisk, which is now on display in the British Museum, identifies Yehu, son of Omri, king of Israel, as one of the monarchs who were forced to pay tribute. The Mesopotamian inscriptions and biblical passages back each other up once more. A Syriologist, as these researchers have come to be known, were astounded by the increased frequency with which archaeological finds corroborated biblical narratives. They looked to the 10th chapter of Genesis. Nimrod was depicted as a builder of all the Mesopotamian kingdoms, as a mighty hunter by Yahweh's grace. And in the beginning of his kingdom, Babel and Erek and Akkad, all in the land of Shinar, out of that land there emanated Ashur, where Nineveh was built, a city of wide streets, and Kala and Rezin, the great city which is between Nineveh and Kala. From 1903 to 1914, teams led by W. Andre excavated the site uncovering the ruins of Ashur, the Assyrian sacred center and first capital. Only Rezin, of all the Assyrian cities listed in the Bible, has been discovered thus far. Its name means the horse's bridle, and therefore it could have been the site of Assyria's royal stables. If you find this fascinating, 
please hit the like button. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell so you'll be notified whenever we put out more great videos like this one.